the drug habits some say they just can't be muggers and robbers no place seems to be safe but you've been my protection every step of the way i want to say sisters to come up, the ladies, and uh, they're going to have a song too for us. We're going to make way for the minister. Thank you. 
just worship the Lord. your problem is tonight I don't know what you're going through you might need a touch in your spirit you might need healing in your body oh but I know man I can't do much for you these preachers might not can do much for you but I know a man oh I feel his presence here tonight second verse Somebody give their life to Jesus. like this. Reach out and touch the Lord as He goes by. You'll find He's not too busy to hear Oh, He's listening even right now. Oh, he 
He's listening. By this old man, your deeds to slip. And I was thinking, see all the people come together, and you know, I trust that there's not a one in this building tonight. It's not going to see us in heaven. I trusted each and every one. You've had a relationship with Jesus Christ. That you've yielded your spirit. You've asked him to come into your heart. Because this is what's important. This is what's important. We get caught up in a lot of things. And we become religious. And we have churches and we have organizations and we have groups. But what about your soul? This is what's important. What about our soul? What about our walk with Christ? Oh, I'm pleading. You know, make sure. I don't care whether you come to my church or not. I want to make sure you go to Jesus' church. He's the one that bled and tied for you. I want to make sure you make heaven your home. Amen. This thing is real. Amen. It ain't some group. It ain't some membership. It's in a relationship with Jesus Christ. It's the Spirit of God coming on the inside. That's what it's about. As I spoke to Brother Clyde, you know he was saying, it's over there sitting at the graveyard. And he cries in tears because, you know, you miss your loved ones. He misses Sister Joyce. Oh, but we got a hope. We don't sorrow as others sorrow. Amen. They're just across the river. They're just across the river. Just in another dimension. There's coming a time we're going to embrace once again. real where the roses we used to sing that song where the roses never fade I don't know about you but I'm planning on making heaven my home if you ain't made your calling and election sure I think tonight might be a good night tonight might be a good night search your heart to see where we're at Oh, what a lovely Savior. I thank Him. I thank Him so much. Sometimes we just need to go back a little bit. Retrace our footsteps. Some of us can think back and think about the good old times. We can think about that time when we was there in the church. We can think about that time that we was walking in His presence. But we've kind of grown cold. Oh, let's get back around the fire. Let's get back around the fire. Let's get back in that place where we can hear God speak. Because He's pleading with us, He's crying out to us. He wants to touch us. He wants to touch us. Can we sing that one more time? Reach out and touch the Lord as He goes by. You will find that He's not too busy to hear your heart's cry. He's fine. See by this Up. 
My dad was such an inspiration. I couldn't help but think of him tonight, you know. He was such an inspiration. He was my dad. He raised me, you know. He's the one that spanked me and cleaned me and, you know. And he came over here and honored me as his pastor. And worked with me. And if I got a line, he would correct me. <laughs> but he wasn't always, oh, you need to do this, you need to. No, he worked with me. He was there working. He helped Dwight in the video and things. He enjoyed going over there making copies so that we'd have them. And it, it was just such a blessing, you know, that I would have a, a, a family and a father that would do that. And I'm thankful for that. I'm thankful for each and every one of you. There's so many of you here, the sisters with the, the, the fixing of the food and things. Brother James and Sister Christine, I can just go on. It's just, Brother James has been like a, a, a family. If I, if I need something, I need to go to town, I need something, I can pick up the phone call Brother James, and he'll be there. I appreciate that. So I, I thank God for each and every one of you. Each and every one of you. I praise God for you. We're brotherhood. Amen? Amen. We're brotherhood. You know, and that's what it's about. That's why I say, you know, let's draw closer to God. Yeah, we can think about the good time. We can think about the times maybe when Brother Pike was here and some of the other men of God, man, we was right there with us. And, 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 but let me tell you, that same Holy Ghost is still with us today. That's what keeps me going. Because I sometimes I get in the desert, things get dry. Oh, but there's nothing like His presence. Amen. To make the plant grow. Amen. We need that watering. Amen. We need that watering. We plant seed, plant seed, plant seed. We still got to have some water. There's time of refreshing. There's time of water. And that's what these times are coming together. And it's like the night. The Holy Spirit's moving. And if you got a need, you think about it. You meditate about it. You set your faith. Let me tell you, you can receive it tonight. You can receive it tonight, whatever it may be. You talk to God about it. Even during this service. And if you need salvation, whatever you need, these altars are open. These men of God will pray with you. At, 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 you used to say at the drop of a hat. They'll pray with you. Ain't nobody got to drop the hat. <laughs> Especially if you need salvation. These altars are open. They're open. If you need a rededication, I can't think of a better time. Amen. Amen. A better place. Amen. Than in the presence of God. This here natural place ain't got nothing to do with it. It's in the presence of God. That's what it's all about. Amen. Let's sing that chorus one more time as Brother Jesse comes. I'm going to turn the service to him if he has the sisters sing. Whatever he wants to do, it's in his hands. Amen? We're going to pass it to him. I'm, on, I'm expecting something from God tonight. Amen? I'm expecting to be blessed. Amen? How many expects to be blessed? Amen? You expect that. If you believe that, if you set your faith, you're going to receive it. Amen? And touch the Lord as He goes by. You will find He's not too busy to hear your heart's cry. He's passing by. Amen. I want my wife to come up, if she would. Amen. And then... Praise the Lord, everybody. Can you shout hallelujah? Can you shout glory? Glory. Woo, glory to God. Oh, God. Thank you. You know, I've been praying for this camp meeting. Amen. I said, Lord, I want to have the blessing to have the greatest camp meeting we ever had. 
let miracles take place, yokes broken, people's hearts healed. You know, we've been praying, dedicating time in prayer for this meeting. Amen. Glory to God. Is there ever a time we need a move of God? It is now with all the things going on in the world. And I, but I want to give honor to God. My husband, amen, I'm very wrong, Pastor Minister Jenkins and the pastor of this church, Pastor Beach and his, his lovely wife, amen, all the ministers in the house and their wives and just everybody, it's good to see everybody out. I'm get, glad to be here. This is home, amen, glory be to God. This is a second home, praise God. I'm not a stranger. I'm not no visitor, praise God, amen. You are my brothers and my sisters, praise God. Amen, we're going to see a couple of praise songs, praise God, y'all don't mind. Amen. Hey, we won't be for you long. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Sometimes I feel like
Hallelujah. I want to tell you how I got that song. Hallelujah. It was a women's prayer hour. And me and Sister Marsha and I was coming to the sanctuary. Amen. And the Spirit of the Lord came in. And we started singing that song. There is none like you in all the earth. You know your spirit, it prays. Amen. Your spirit will sing. Amen. And he just, the melody and the music, everything was there. And about a couple of months ago, I woke up. Amen. I heard my spirit singing. Amen. I want to sing just a little. That's all right. Sing a little of that. Amen. Amen. It was, I heard a sound of rain. Amen. That's the name when I hear the sound of rain. Amen. It got a little, little fast, but I think y'all can get it. Amen. I was listening to that and then another song come behind that. And I got up and I was just listening to the Lord sing to me and the angels. I said, let's listen to it. And I got up and started writing the song down. Amen. I'm going to sing just a little day. Amen. Y'all welcome to sing it too. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Huh? Thank you, Jesus. I hear the sound of rain, rain on. I hear the sound of rain, y'all. Rain on me. That's how I know God is getting ready to do something. See, God won't send a song like that if he ain't finna do something. Rain on me right now. I hear the sound.
See, if you don't remember anything else, remember the song that was sung tonight. <laughs> Hallelujah. While we're standing, amen, won't you just bow your heads with me? Pray along with me as I pray tonight. Father, we are thankful, Lord, for the mighty wisdom of your spirit tonight. Thank you, Lord, for your presence. Thank you, Lord, for what you've already told us. And, oh, mighty God, we pray, Lord, you bless each and every one of them sound of my voice tonight. Oh, God, send the rain. Send your anointing. Oh, God, touch each and every one. Heal, deliver, save, and set free. By an evil force that will come against us and speak to us on the night, Father, and anoint us for this service. For it's in Jesus' mighty name. We pray we give you the glory. Come on, let the church say, Amen. 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 You may be seated if you can. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We certainly thank the Lord, amen, just for being here tonight. Amen. God is certainly in this place on the night. Amen. He's doing some wonderful things. Amen. We do want to honor the Lord. Amen. God has been so good to us. Amen. He has blessed us so much. Amen. Amen. I'm just so thankful for, for how the Lord has been blessing. Hallelujah. Amen. God has certainly been moving in a mighty way. Amen. He moved in a mighty way on last night. Amen. I certainly thank God for that message, brother. Amen. That was spoken on last night. Amen. I like to know, amen. I'm certainly in agreement with, with, with what he said on last night. Amen. I do want to thank God, amen, for all the ministers, amen, the pastor here. Amen. But, but I can't say enough about the pastor here, amen, Pastor Rob, amen, all the other ministers I see. Just some wonderful men of God, amen, just to be around. Amen. And I believe, amen, God is really going to do some awesome things. Amen. God visited with us this morning. Amen. Over there. And I kind of, and, and I didn't know I was going to minister tonight, but I believe the Lord does it that way. Amen. And a, a certain thing, a certain way God moves. Uh, the way my wife says that he moves, he's, he's just the smoothest butter. <laughs> amen. God got a way of doing things. Amen. When he does it, amen, you said, God, that was awesome. Amen. So I wish I had a thought of it. So I would have done it the same way. Amen. So it's certainly good to be here tonight. Amen. God has been, really been pouring out. Amen. Thank God. Amen. For each, each and every one. Amen. For all, all those great cooks that we... Amen. Are, are there some cooks in the house tonight? Amen. All right. All that good food. Amen. We've been enjoying. Amen. One thing. Amen. They feature real good. It's, I think they call that Southern Hospitality. Amen. But it certainly is good to be in the house of the Lord. Amen. God has been blessing. Amen. And it's just so good. Amen. So to be here. Amen. If the minister was speaking on last night. Amen. He was saying some wonderful things. Amen. Because I told us about, amen, what was going on. Amen. And I certainly want, wouldn't want to be one of those people, amen, that would walk off, in, off into the restroom, amen, with, 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 with his loved ones. <laughs> I wouldn't want to do that. Are you with me? Amen. He said, he said it's two things I think he said would happen. <laughs> Amen. And I don't think that I don't think neither one of them would, would forget it. <laughs> but it's certainly good to be here tonight. Amen. If you got your Bibles, I'd like to just read a little scripture tonight, Amen. In the book of St. Matthew, the twenty fifth chapter. And also in the book of St. Luke, tenth chapter. Amen. The book of St. Matthew, 25th chapter. And also in the book of St. Luke, amen, the 10th chapter. But over here, amen, Matthew 25, the Bible said, Then shall the kingdom of heaven be like unto ten virgins, which took their lamps and went forth to meet the bride. And five of them were wise and five were foolish. They that were wise took their lamps and took no oil with them, but the wise took oil in their lamp, in their vessel with their, 
with their lamps. While the bridegroom tarried, they all slumbered and slept. And at midnight, there was a cry made, Behold, the bridegroom cometh, go ye out to meet him. Then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps. And the foolish said unto the wise, Give us of your oil, for our lamps are gone out. But the wise answered, saying, Not so, lest there be not enough for us and you, but go ye rather to them that sell and buy for yourselves. And while they came, and while they went to buy, the bridegroom came, and they that were, were ready went in with him to the marriage, and the door was shut. Afterwards came also the other virgin, saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he answered and said, Verily I say unto you, I know ye not. Watch therefore, for ye know neither the day nor the hour wherein the Son of Man cometh. One other place I want to I wanna read, amen, is over here in the book of St. Luke, 10th chapter, and verse 38. The Bible says here, And it came to pass, as they went, that he entered into a certain village, and a certain woman named Martha received him into her, her house. And she had a sister called Mary, which also sat at Jesus' feet and heard his word. But Martha was coming about much serving, and came to him and said, Lord, dost thou not care that my sister has left me to serve alone? Be it her therefore that she help me. And Jesus answered and said unto her, Martha, Martha, thou art careful and troubled about many things, but one thing is needful. And Mary has chosen that good part, which should not be taken away from her. Reading your hearing tonight from the book of Matthew, 25th chapter, first 13 verses, and Luke, the 10th chapter, verses 38 through verse 42. And the verse that I really like to say something about tonight is verse 42. It says, but one thing is needful, and Mary has chosen that good part which should not be taken away from her. Let's talk about that good part tonight. Amen, that good part. Amen, that was the part, amen, that Mary had chosen. She chose the good part that should not be taken away from her. Amen. I thought about, amen, the little visitation, amen, we had on this morning to when I first woke up this morning. Amen. And how the Lord was dealing with us concerning this meeting and what this meeting has to do with. And not only that, amen, he was letting us know some awesome things. Amen. How he wanted to really move in the, in the midst of the people. Amen. Do you believe God loves you tonight? Amen. amen. See, if you choose that good part, that good part, the Bible said, shall not be taken away from you. I mean, that's one reason why, amen, we want to make the right choices. In life, there's a lot of choices to make. Amen. But if you choose the good part, a lot of times people, amen, have gone down the wrong road. Amen. But if you choose the good part, I thought about here as to what this has to, as what this means. And the thing that, the thing that came to me when I talked, when I was reading about Mary and Martha, Mary has to do Amen, with those, with those wise virgins. And Martha has to do with the foolish virgin. You know, the Bible said here, amen, it says, it says Martha was coming about much serving, and she came to him and said, Lord, dost thou not care that my sister has left me to serve alone? Be it her therefore that she helped me. And I thought about it. she was, came to Jesus as Jesus was speaking there, and it, I guess he made a pause just a little bit, and she said, Jesus said, my, my old lady's a sister. She's not helping me out in there. I need some help in the kitchen. I need to get this food ready. We need to serve you. And Jesus said, Martha, Martha. He said, thou art careful and trouble about many things. But one thing is needful. See, a lot of times people don't understand, amen. A lot of times we go out there, we work for God, amen. We want, we want to do the very best that we can. And these virgins, these foolish virgins, amen, they're out there really working for God. But the thing that is needful, the Bible said, one thing is needful. And that one thing, amen, Mary had chosen that good part. She chose, amen, to sit there at Jesus' feet, amen, and hear what he had to say. And this is what, where a lot of times we as church folk, we miss it. 
I mean, people, they want to run all around the world. I think it's good to do that. They want to go to Africa and Asia and amen, other parts of the continent. They want, amen, their name to be written, written, written in the lights. And said, I did this for God. I thought about a preacher. He was, said, he was talking about how he'd help the person out. And he said, he wanted everybody to know, amen, that he, that he helped this person out. And he said, a lot of times when he'd come in there and, they, and he, he would say about this other brother, he said, I, I hope this brother out. Are you with me? But see, the, the thing that is needful, amen, is that we get into the presence of God. Amen. And not be so quick to leave out his press. One thing God has been dealing with us about too is about they receive power. He said, tarry till you be tarry ye till you be endued with this power. And a lot of times I think we, we, we move a little, little bit too quick. Amen. A lot of times I think that we move a little bit too quick to get out of service. Amen. I think we need to tarry. Amen. Don't be so quick. Amen. When you're praying. Don't be so quick. Just hop up and just so I got something to do. I mean, I think a lot of times, amen, we need to cut, cut the telephones off. Or just forget about them. Don't even answer them. Let the answering service answer the play. Are you with me? Amen. But tear into you and be endued with power. Amen. This is what God is interested in. Amen. See, there's a difference between the wise version and the foolish version. Somebody said, preacher, what's the big difference? So they're all virgins, aren't they? Yeah, they all were virgins. And a lot of times these wise, the foolish virgins, amen, we would esteem them more highly than we would the wise virgin. Because these wise virgins, if you look right here, I believe these wise virgins seem like they were lazy. Are you with me? Somebody's preacher, I don't think, I don't think you caught that right. Well, the, the, well, this is the way I've been catching it. I can only give it to you the way I've been getting it. Are you with me? Mary was sitting there at Jesus' feet while Jesus was speaking. And she could have been up in the kitchen rattling them pots and pans, getting all this good, good food ready because you know these preachers like to eat this good fried chicken. <laughs> Are you with me? And there she was, and, and, and their Martha was running around busy, as they said, a uh, chicken with his head cut off. She was running around busy, getting everything ready, and then she looked over there and spotted her sister. Do you, do you know where her sister was sitting at? Right there at the feet of Jesus and wasting all this good valuable time. And she could have been out there helping and getting everything ready. But there she was. Old lazy Mary. Are you with me? And she was so upset, she said, she said Lord, did you do you not care that she had left me here to serve alone? She's supposed to be my helper. She's supposed to be off in there rattling the pots and pans with me. But there she is, she's sitting at your feet. Tell her to get on up from there. Now, I think a lot of things are wrong with this picture, don't you? She was so upset with her sister that she bypassed her sister. I believe she kind of shook her and said, look, I need a little help off in the kitchen. But she bypassed her sister and went straight to the Lord. And the Lord, I think it's, a lot of times it's a good thing to do because the Lord will put you in your place. Amen. He told her, she has, he said, one thing is needful. See, a lot of times we think all these other things are needful. I've been telling the people at church, what we could do, amen, we could have a peanut butter sandwich. Are you with me? Somebody said, we don't want no peanut butter preacher. We could have potted meat. We could have even some spam if necessary. Are you with me? Amen. We ain't got to have all this, all this, all this great outstanding southern fried chicken and all this great cooking. We, we don't have to have that. But one thing is needful. Amen. We need to put the greatest emphasis on that of the greater value. But you know what church folks have done today? They have put the greatest emphasis upon that of the lesser value. Amen. We want to do a lot of things for God instead of getting into his presence and finding out like, like Saul of Tarsus did. When God smote him and, and caused him to be blind, you, do you know the first thing he asked? He said, who art thou, Lord? And what would you have me to do? Amen. These are the two things that we need to be finding out. We need to find out who he is. Church folks, they don't know who he is. And they don't know what he would have them to do. That's why they're busy doing the things, amen, they ought not to be doing. 
Are you with me? I said, too many people are doing things, amen, that they ought not to be doing. Amen. And they don't know this God, this great God that we serve. Somebody's preaching, how do you know that they don't know this God? Amen. Because they think it's three of them. Are you with me? He's plainly told them the Lord your God is just one Lord. Amen. They keep saying, not double. No, it's bad when you see double. Amen. But when you start saying triple, amen, then I think, I think it really is bad. Hey Amen. I don't think I don't I don't think the optometrist can do much for you when you start seeing like that. <laughs> but see, folks, the thing about it is this. Hey Amen. God has looked down upon you. Hey Amen. And God has has had that great compassion on you. And it's awesome. I mean, we was as I was as we were there in the bedroom this morning, and the Lord was dealing with concerning this meeting. What this meeting had to do with. This meeting that we are part to be privileged of right now has to do with those 10 virgins. Amen. Has to do with those 10 virgins. Amen. And Lord went on and re revealed some awesome things to us. But I still want you to know about this good part. See, a lot of times people, they don't understand about the good part. Amen. What they get their mind on is doing something for God rather than coming to know who he is. And I thought about some things. That's to the reason why the church people have not been able to get together. See, we should have gotten together on some things. Somebody as a preacher, we should have gotten together on some things. The church world, amen, they are so confused and so mixed up, like I said, thinking there's three gods. On, amen. I, I, I have not found a word in the Bible where the Bible said it was three gods. Are you with me? I have not found that in the scripture. Amen. But see, the thing about it that's concerning the church world, a lot of times we think, amen, that they're well off. And then I met people. I was wondering why in the world. I met, I met preachers that wanted to come to my church and minister. I said, well, how do you baptize? He said, name of the Father, Son, and Holy. He said, they're just as bold and, and stuck his chest out. I said, man, don't, don't you know nobody in the Bible that were baptized like that? Where in the world you get these things at? And fella, one fellow told me, I think he was a minister, he coming by my house, and he, he said, he said, you, you made a statement, if, if, I, if, you sh if I could show you in the Bible where they were baptized in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, said you would eat the Bible, is that right? Yeah. <laughs> I said, yeah, I, I think I did make that statement. He said, well, I, I know exactly where it's at. I said, I think I know where you're going. I said, but that, that wasn't what nobody was baptized at. He thought, he thought, he said, well, you, he said, wait a minute, you can't bag out of this. He said, you said, you said that you're going to eat it if I showed you what they were baptized in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. He gave me the scripture. I said, well, that's, that's, said, you still hadn't showed me yet. Hey, man, you still hadn't showed me what it was baptized in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Said, you hadn't showed me what it was ever baptized in the titles. See, Somebody would say, preacher, so why do you stress these kind of things? The Bible said, if our gospel be hid. See, people say, I don't see it, preacher. I don't, I don't see it. I don't want to. And these are little elementary things. See, the Bible said, leaving the principles and doctrines of baptism, leaving these little old minor things, and going on to some great things. I mean, there's nothing great thing about the baptism. I mean, when you first come and and you first get saved, that's what, they, what the minister does, amen. He'll baptize you. And if he's baptized in titles, I think it's, it's sort of late in the day. The Bible said that the children of this world are wiser in their generation than the children of life. The children of this world. So we come down to a time, amen, that we, as the people of God, I think, those, I think the people, if they can't see these kind of things, I mean, just a little natural, little small things, it's a reason why they can't see it. If this gospel be hid, and they say it's hid from them. And a lot of times people say, well, my, my daddy did it this way, and my grandfather did it this way. I don't want to keep making errors because they made errors. Are you with me? This is the reason why I said the five was wise, and it was five fools. See, if you're wise, you want to know who this great God is. 
and you won't know what would you have me to do? What position do I play in the body of Christ? And so these are the kind of things, amen, that the Lord is really coming to visit us, visit us with for those kind of things. And we got too many, we got too many martyrs that are coming about with much serving, doing things and trying to get a big name for themselves. Said, I did this. I, I went over to China. I went over to Russia. I went over to those different places. But did, but did you go and visit with the Lord? Did you stop by and visit with the Lord? Did you find out what the Lord would have you to do? I mean, have you talked to Jesus? Like I said, the Lord has been dealing with us about tearing in his sight. Folks, I believe there's a reason why God wants to tear in his sight. He's wanting to endure, endure with power. I know I've, I've preached it too, amen, that, we, that you don't have to really tear it for the Holy Ghost now, that God just give you the Holy Ghost on the spot. But see, a lot of times God wants to feel you not just one time. So a lot of times people miss it because they think that God just want to feed you with the Holy Ghost one time. I know in the book of Acts, I think second chapter, it says about, and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost. But in the fourth chapter, it spoke about, and the whole place was shaken, and they all were filled with the Holy Ghost. And it was some of the same ones that was in the, in the first move got filled again. Are you with me tonight? So I believe, amen, we don't need to just get filled with the Holy Ghost just one time. I don't think God just want to fill you with the Holy Ghost just one time. I think he'd like to do it over and over again. But we need to get our priorities straight. Amen. We need to begin to start choosing that good part. See, folks, if you choose that good part, that part would never be taken away from you. Amen. We need to press in. Amen. And begin to make the right choices. Amen. Spending some time in the presence of God. Amen. And, the, and we will reap great benefits from this. I mean, a lot of times people like to get out of church first. I think I heard preachers said that the first one to get out of church, they get the, they get the best food over there at the, on, the, on the sun at the place over there. Are you with me? I heard one minister said, he said he, he confessed. He said that a waitress came to him serving his table. And he said, why are you here on a Sunday when you need to be at church listening to the gospel. And she's a preacher. I just need to tell you something. I'm so glad that you stopped and asked me that question. She said, it's people like you. It's the reason why I got to be here. She said, you come out here on a Sunday. She said, if you would stay at home. <laughs> she, said, well, she said, none of us have to work. They closed this place down if nobody come out here. She said, but it's folks just like you cost me to have to work on Sunday. I think he said that he never did ask that question no more. <laughs> I think she left him speechless. Because a lot of times we, 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 we speak first and we think later. But we need to learn to choose that good part. <laughs> folks, if I can leave anything with you, amen, if you could choose that good part tonight, that part will never be taken away from you. Amen. This is part of, this is what we need to be choosing. Amen. We need to be ma making the right choices. Amen. Are we spending extra time with the Lord? Amen. Are we tarrying in the sight? Like I said, I know the Holy Ghost was poured out. Amen. But we, we don't want to just pour it out just once. Amen. We want to get poured out over and over and over again. Amen. We want to get filled one time and then get filled many more times. Amen. If I, it's kind of like my, my car. I don't want to just fill it up one time and just drive it until it get, runs empty. And so just put it to the side. I want to fill it up again. Amen. I want to get, I want to get my money's worth out of it. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. I believe God is wanting to do some mighty things among us. Amen. If we were there this morning, if we were there this morning and talking to the Lord, and the Lord came in, amen, and he, he began to deal with us this morning. Amen. There's some things I really want to say to you. Amen. I turned away and read over that in the book of St. Luke, 10th chapter, 
But the Lord there was about this. I said, Lord, what would you have me to do? And he said, pour in the oil and the wine. Amen. Anybody here tonight need, need the oil poured on them and need some wine tonight? Amen. This is what God said he wanted us to do. Amen. This morning he was saying, pour in the oil and the wine. And when I thought about that, like a sermon came to me. Amen. That God got some people, amen, that's gone through great trials and tribulations right here. Amen. And God is, if not left you alone, amen, but God has looked down upon you and God has had great compassion for you. And God has sent me by that I may pour in the oil. He said, pour in the oil and the wine. Hallelujah. I mean, this is what the Lord said this morning. He said to pour in the oil and the wine. Amen. I feel good about coming then. Amen. Amen. Because a lot of times, amen, I come, I come first and find out later what, what it is the Lord would have me to do. I like to leave. I like to, before I come, I like to, I like to already know. Sometimes the Lord don't work like that. Amen. He'll tell you at the last minute. Amen. Then sometimes you have already had on your minds of what you want to do. And then the Lord will change all your plans. Are you with me? I mean, he'll change your plan. Amen. Because God's plan is more important than yours. Are you with me, are you with me tonight? Amen. God has done it many times. And what God wants to do, he wants to, want to give an outpouring. He wants there to be, amen, a great expectation. Did you come to expecting anything tonight? I found out, amen, that a lot of times the people of God, their expectations are too low. Amen. Did you know that the, the great God... The almighty God, he spoke to Moses. He said, Moses, is anything too hard for me? Amen. When you begin to think about that, amen, how great this God is and that there is nothing too hard for God. Amen. We just need to come to know him a little bit better. You know, a lot of times I hear people say, God, I heard God did that for them and God did that for them and God did that for them. But he won't do that for me. That's not God. The Bible says he had no respect of persons. Right. Amen. If he did it for you, then when I come before God, I said, I, I said God, remember Brother Terry. When they called, when they said last, they said last night, they said, I want Brother Terry to come by. I said, Brother Terry? Oh, I said, I didn't know he had started preaching yet. <laughs> I thought about the other Brother Terry. But I, got, I also got a brother named Terry. But see, the thing about God, God is such an awesome God. He doesn't leave a stone unturned. Amen. He knows everything. Amen. And the thing he wants to do, amen, he wants to, he wants the man of God, the minister, amen, to pour in the oil. And see, God has been looking down upon you. He's been watching over you. And he, he's the one with this great compassion. Amen. He's that, that good Samaritan. Are you with me tonight? I see he's that good Samaritan. And he wants to pour out upon you tonight. He wants to do something special for you tonight. Do you believe that God will do something special for, for, for you on the night? Amen. Do you have that great expectation? I thought about when Peter and John come up to the temple. And they met that man there. And this man, he was asking for alms. And Peter and John said, silver and gold have I known. But such as I have, give I thee in the name of Jesus. Amen. Caught this man by the hand, and the Bible said, and immediately his anchor bone received strength. He began to leaping and, and praising and went to the house of God, leaping and praising God. Are you with me? See, he was expecting to receive something. It's amazing how, amen, just if you expect and receive something, you might not get what you wanted, amen, but God, God will give you what he wanted to give you. Something better. I heard a preacher say, I didn't quite understand him when he first said it. He said, God has never given me what I wanted. He said, God has never done that. That's a pitiful, pitiful preacher, ain't it? He said, God ain't never given him what he wanted. He said, no, he said, he said, the house I wanted. He said, God didn't give me that. He said, he said, the car he wanted. He said, God didn't give him that either. He said, he said, even when it went and said the wife that he wanted, so, oh, oh, wait a minute now, preacher. He said the wife that he wanted, he said, God didn't even give him that. He said, God always gave him better. <laughs> and he, make, he, he make better choices. 
amen, than what we make, amen. We make, we make a choice, and, and, we, and I'm thankful, amen, that God overruled me in a lot of choices I made. <laughs> amen. He overruled me, amen, gave me what he wanted me to have. And what he wanted me to have was always better than, than, than what I wanted. Amen. Because a lot of times we choose, but when God chooses, see the Bible said man look at on the outward appearance. That ain't the way God looked. Amen. But God judges the heart. Amen. God knows exactly what's going on. Amen. A lot of times we see people, and we I met people, I think nice people. I mean, really nice. The Lord said, these are some nice people. And God said, he said, don't put any confidence in the flesh. Don't put any confidence in the flesh. We are they that have put no confidence in the flesh. Amen. My confidence is in, in that part in you, amen, that, that is the Christ in you. Are you with me? The Christ is in you. That's the confidence I have, amen, as, as to the measure of Christ that you have. Are you with me tonight? Amen. But are you choosing that? Are you, are you making the right choice tonight? Are you choosing that good part? See, if you make the right choices, it will never be taken away from you. If you choose, amen, to stay in the presence of Almighty God, to get as much of God as you can. And I believe it like this here. People have as much of God as they want. I've been telling my people, amen, that, that God is about self-service. You, you receive him. To as many as received him, to them gave he power to become sons of God. I mean, to as many as received him, how much of God do you want? How much of God do you want? How much of the measure of the spirit of God do you want? How many times do you want God to fill you with his presence? Amen. Make up your mind. Because see, it's your choice to choose the good part. See, one thing is needful. A lot of times, people choose to work all the time. Somebody's preaching, ain't nothing wrong with working. You know, there's nothing wrong with working. But it's like the foolish versions. They're going to work all the time when they, when, they, when they need to choose the good part. There's something better than working all the time. See, I would like for you to think tonight, amen, because God is making this move. I mean, we're down at the end of the way. The preacher was saying last night about men going into the women's restroom. Don't you think there's something wrong with that picture? I mean, something serious wrong with America. Something serious wrong with our government. Something serious wrong with the things that are going on. But people, it's just a sign. I mean, the reason why things are all chaotic, things are going the way that they're going, amen, because God is... is Wanting us to wake up. So wake up, you virgins. Wake up. I mean, he wants you to see, amen, that it is the coming of the Lord. God is closing this thing out. Are you with me? I said, God is closing it out. I mean, the reason why things are, evil seducers shall wax worse and worse. The reason why things are getting worse and worse, amen, is because of the hour in which we live. Amen. And we need to, we should, we should have been expecting these kind of things. When they first mandated the thing, that, amen, that they made it lawful in every state, all 50 states. And I said, it moved faster than I thought it would move. You got people off in the Bible Belt. In those states, I believe they would have fought it too to nail. But Satan, cunning as he was, he bypassed them. He went to the Supreme Court and got those fellas there to force it on all those other states. They first started out state by state. This one state said it was legal in this state. Then after a while, another state said they, they had voted it's legal in this state. Then after a while, another state said it's legal in this state. And I said, well, they, they won't never get Tennessee. <laughs> they, won't, they won't get the states in the, in the Bible Belt. But all of a sudden, amen, Satan made his, made his move. Amen. They put it in the hand of the Supreme Court. And this, just these few little fellows got together and they made it legal in, in all 50 states. Can you imagine that? <coughs> Amen. All America should have rose up against that. Amen. Amen. If they weren't asleep, yeah. Amen. They should have, they should have, that should have been enough to rise them up out of their sleep. They said, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute now. They should have done something about this. Amen. 
These people, amen, so they're studying for God. They should have stood up and done something about this. Amen, brother. Amen, but let us know, amen, the time that we're, that we're at, right down to the, to, the, to the time of the end. And one thing is needful. So a lot of times we think all these other things are needful, so I got to have this and I got to have that. And those other things, I got to have all these other things. But folks, one thing is needful. Amen. It's like a person had, had that sign that says, where will you spend eternity? Folks, are preaching, I'm worried about where I'm, I'm going to spend time at now. Where I'm, I'm trying to get the best house I can get. I'm trying to drive, drive the best car I can drive. Well, there's nothing wrong with those things. Amen. But one thing is needful. It's like the song says, take this whole world, but give me Jesus. Are you with me tonight? Are you ready, amen, to press in and get more of God? I've been telling my people, I said, now, a lot of times I'm preaching things to, that, that is to prepare you to be ready to meet the Lord. And maybe there's some things I might have skipped. I said, if you see problems in your life, weaknesses in your life that you need to get rid of, I said, write a whole list of those things and come and place it up here on my desk. Right there. I said, then we'll, so we'll preach the devil out of you. Are you with me? <laughs> I said, but what I find out is this. You don't bring me no list. And then when I preach on the, those, those things, I said, you don't like me to preach on those things. I said, but this is the way, this is the way we get rid of those things. They have to preach to preach against it. Yeah. I think the preacher ought to preach against it. Paul said, I have not shunned to declare unto you the whole counsel of God. Amen. Amen. I want to be thoroughly right when I come before the Lord. Are you with me? Amen. We should want the pastor to get on our case. But you know what they want, pastor? They said, preach everything you want to preach, but don't, but there are some things over here. They said, don't preach on these things. If they give you a list, it's a list of things not to preach on. Amen. But don't you want, don't you want deliverance? Amen. One thing is needful. Amen. One thing is needful. One thing is needful. Amen. That we be like those wise virgins. What's the difference between the wise virgin and the foolish virgin? I heard a preacher say this. He said he's never gone to a church. He said he asked, how many, how many foolish virgins do we have in here? He said he never got any hands risen on, on that. But if you ask how many wise versions, you, you, you might get some hand. But see, if you choose that one thing that is needful, he said, Mary has chosen that good part. That means, amen, that Martha didn't choose the good part. That's, to me, I said, to me that showed me the wise version and the foolish version. Because, like I said, you, you can have just as much of God as you want. We shouldn't be complaining Amen, that I don't have as much of God as I want. Whose fault is that? Somebody says, I just got just a little God. I, sometimes I don't feel God. I, sometimes I'm, whose fault is that? Somebody says, preach, I don't have enough time in the day. So there's not enough time. So I got so many other things to do. But do you not know, amen, you got just as much time as anybody else? Amen. Are there not 24 hours in a day? I never met somebody, somebody that told me, so, Preacher, I got 25 hours in this day. I got more time than other folks got. See, it's, it's wherever you, whatever you prioritize, whatever you pick out, whatever you esteem. See, people, when they esteem stuff, they get those things done regardless. Those things that they put first, I mean, they get those things done. They accomplish those things. People start. They accomplish those things they set out to accomplish. Amen. So if you want to be full of the Spirit of God, you can choose tonight. It's, kind of, it's sort of like Joshua said, choose the day whom thou shalt serve. For, for me and my house, so we're going to serve the Lord. It's a choice that you make. Folks, when you, when you start seeing it, amen, as a choice that you make, then you find out, amen, you can have just as much of God as you want. Amen. You can get into the presence of God. You can continue to bombard the heavens. 
amen, until you receive just as much of God as you want. Amen. You can have, like I said, I believe it's like self-service. Amen. You can have just as much of God as you want. How much of God do you want? I mean, how much of God do you want tonight? See, God sent us by, man, to pour out the oil and the wine. Amen. Out, great outpouring. Amen. That you can receive as much of it as you want. Amen. Do you want God? Do you want more of God? Do you want to be filled with God? Do you want to be filled full of his spirit? Amen. Tonight is your night. Somebody said, Preacher, what about tomorrow night? I said, Tonight is your night. Amen. Now is the time. Today is the day. See, we need to make a, make a, make a choice. Make a choice here and tonight, amen, that we're going to be that wise version. Amen. Like I said, God had great compassion on you people, His great compassion for you. Amen. The thing that you, He was dealing with me. With us this morning, concerning this, he has great compassion for you. Amen. You're not just anybody. So when I stand before you, I, 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 I count it a, a pleasure, a privilege. Amen. To stand before the people of Almighty God. Amen. And you can have this that God would desire for you to have. And this one thing is needful tonight. And you have to choose that good part. It's up to you. We place this in your hands. As I said, it's a self-service thing tonight. Amen. You want it, then it, then it, then it, it, it's yours tonight. It is yours tonight. Amen. It's yours tonight. Amen. It's yours on tonight. Amen. Come on and stand with me. I don't want to hold you long tonight, but I would like to pray for you tonight. I would like to lay hands on people tonight. Would that be all right tonight if I did that? Amen. We, we, we want people, amen, like I said, he said to pour in the oil and the wine. He gave a special instruction to pour in the oil and the wine. Because the people have been hurting. People, amen, they've been wanting to touch from God. People, amen, they've been wanting to be filled full of the Holy Ghost. Amen. And God has been known, amen, just to fill people with the Holy Ghost right there on the spot. But don't just wait to be filled just one time. Amen. After you've gone through that experience, amen, you say, God, I want some more of that. Amen. I want some more of that, God. I want you to do that again. Amen. Somebody says, I remember when I first got saved 20 years ago. I got touched by the Lord. You haven't been touched since then? Wouldn't you like to get touched again? Amen. You shouldn't, you shouldn't, you shouldn't just wait that long, that long. Amen. It ought to be a thing. I got touched. I got touched last night. And I got touched again tonight. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm going to get touched again tomorrow. Amen. I'm going to keep getting more and more of God. I'm going to be full of the Spirit. You know, the Bible said be full of the Spirit. The Bible said concerning Peter, so Peter being full of the Spirit. Amen. Spoke about different ones, Barnabas and others, full of the Holy Ghost. Amen. And God want to fill people full of His Spirit on the night. Amen. God want to give a great outpouring tonight. the night. Amen. I'm looking for this oil, and I believe we see some oil right here. Be all right to use this oil, brother. Amen. Anybody, anybody tonight want prayer? Amen. We want you to come down to the altar tonight. Amen. If you want anything from the Lord, amen, would you come down to the altar tonight? Would y'all give us a song? Amen. And we want to we want to pray for people. We want, we want to anoint some people tonight. We want to pour out the oil tonight. Pour out the wine tonight. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. 
Hallelujah. I want my wife to help me pray for the sisters tonight. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. So you want to thank from the Lord tonight? Amen. Come on, man. Would you pray, pray with him? Father, in the name of Jesus, touch this our sister tonight. Oh, God, we pour out the oil and the wine tonight. Oh, mighty God. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God, do something special for her tonight. Hallelujah. Special tonight, Lord. Lord, we pouring out the oil tonight. Pouring out the wine on tonight. Do it for them tonight, dear God. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Sister, you want to thank from the Lord tonight? Hallelujah. I have such a hunger for more of God. I want to be lost in Him. Hallelujah. I want Christ only to be seen in me. Oh, I can't God. get closer. I can I hear the brush of angels' wings. I see glory on each face. Surely the presence of the Lord Surely the presence of the Lord is in this place. I can hear His mighty power and His grace. I can hear the brush of in the name of Jesus touch her right now oh God oh God in the name of Jesus God we pour it we, we pour in the oil tonight Lord we pour in the wine on tonight and almighty God, you make it all right. According to your word tonight, Father. Thank you for the blessing. Thank you for doing it. And Father, this sister here, we pray for her tonight. God, bless her right now. Oh, God, pour in the oil and wine on tonight. In the name of Jesus. Thank you for doing it, Father. Oh, glory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Touch her right now, Father. In the name of Jesus. Oh, mighty God. Pour out the oil tonight, Father. Pour out the, oil, the wine on tonight. Oh, mighty God. Do it for her right now, Father. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. He's blessing you right now, sister. He's giving you the desire of your heart right now. Oh, glory to God. Just let it happen for you tonight. Hallelujah. It's yours tonight. The blessing is yours on the night. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pour in the oil and the wine on tonight. Touch this sister Charlotte tonight, dear God. Oh, mighty God. We pour in that oil tonight. We pour in the wine tonight, dear God. Oh, mighty God, have your way with her right now, Father. Oh, God, meet the need right now. Give her, Lord, the desire of her heart. The head of the Lord is upon you right now. He's fixing things right now. Hallelujah. He's blessing you right now. He's pouring in that oil tonight. He's pouring the wine tonight. Hallelujah. Receive it on tonight. The blessing is yours tonight. It's yours tonight. 
The hand of the Lord is upon you right now. Hallelujah. His hand is upon you right now. He's pouring up on you right now. Go ahead and thank the Lord for it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. it right now for her. in the name of Jesus hallelujah in the name of Jesus I pour in the oil tonight I pour in the wine tonight hallelujah the blessing is yours tonight sister it's yours tonight it's yours tonight receive it right now hallelujah it's yours right now go ahead and thank him for us thank him for the blessing thank you Jesus thank you Jesus hallelujah thank you Lord yes Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sister, the Lord's going to bless you tonight. Hallelujah. Glory to God. What's the joy from the Lord tonight? Father, in the name of Jesus, we ask you to touch this mother tonight. Almighty oh, God, pour out upon her right now. Father, we pour in the oil and the wine tonight. We pour in the oil and the wine tonight, Jesus. Yes, in the name of Jesus. Almighty oh, God, do it for her tonight, dear God. May she know, Lord, she's been in your presence tonight. May she know, Father, that you touched her tonight. And Lord, may she know that that you poured in the oil and the wine on the night. Hallelujah, it's yours tonight, sister. The blessing of God is yours tonight. He done it for you tonight, hallelujah. Yes, hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, hallelujah. Which one God do for you tonight? For this mother tonight, for a daughter tonight, oh God. Pour in, pour in the water of the land tonight. Pour in the water of the land tonight, oh God. Oh God, you got great compassion. For these tonight. For all of these tonight, Father, you got great compassion. And oh God, I do something special for you right now. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Have your way right now, sir. In the name of Jesus, fill this vessel. We pour it in the oil tonight, Father. The wine tonight. Oh God, it's yours tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, lift your hand up with me tonight. Amen. You can have as much as God. Come 
going to do for Buffalo's hands tonight. Get those hands up tonight. It's a sign of surrender. Amen. Sign of surrender. Father, in the name of Jesus, do it for him tonight. Father, we pour it in the oil and the wine on tonight. Hallelujah. The oil and the wine. Oh, God. Oh, the God. Thank you, Jesus. Bless him right now, Father. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you for doing it, Father. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Anyone else that died in prayer tonight? You want prayer tonight? Come on, you ministers. Come on, you ministers. Come on. Pastor, why get on up here? Come on, come on, help me pray for these. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray for our brothers tonight. Oh, God, pour in the oil and the wine on tonight, oh, God. Yes, Father. Pour in the oil and the wine. Bless him right now, Father. Oh, God, you know his heart is there tonight. And Almighty God, do it for me now. Do it for me now. Show me great compassion tonight, Father. He has great compassion for you tonight, Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Count it done right now. In the name of Jesus. The blessing is yours. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We put you on the Oh, it's a real feeling. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes. Father, in the name of Jesus, touch our brother tonight. Father, we pouring in the oil. We pouring in the wine on tonight. Dear God. Oh, God. Feeling full, Father. Full, oh, God. Let it overflow tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. God, meet every need right now. The Lord, the greatest need to be able to be filled, to be full, Father. And we, we do it for them right now. We grant a petition right now. We pour in oil in the wine. We show us on tonight. The blessed that you Go ahead and thank him for it. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, hallelujah. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Yes, hallelujah. Glory to God. Come on, brother. You want, you want prayer tonight? Yes, sir. Is there anything special you want from God tonight? I mean, what? I mean, what? I mean, what? I mean, what? He told us tonight to fill him. He said, he said to pour in the oil and the wine. He told us to pour in the oil and the wine. Pour it in tonight. Father, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Father. We pour it in his oil according to your direction. According to your instructions, oh God. Pour in the oil and the wine on tonight. Oh God. Oh God. Lord, he's chosen that good poem. That good poem. Do it for him tonight, oh God. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The blessed is yours, brother. It's yours tonight. Go ahead and thank him for it. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Please, God, we'll do it for you tonight. Come on, come on, come on. Get those hands up. We want to pray for you. It's a sign of surrender tonight. Father, in the name of Jesus, touches our brother tonight. Oh, God, let that mighty anointing flow tonight, oh, God. Oh, God, we pour in the oil. I pour it in the oil tonight, Father. I pour in the wine on tonight. Hallelujah. Oh, God. Oh, God, I feel him crying out to you tonight. Oh, God, answer him tonight. Answer his prayer tonight, Father. Bless him right now. Fill him, Father. Full of this, full of this oil tonight. Full of the Holy Ghost. Bless him right now, Father. Oh, God. You're doing it for him right now. It's yours tonight. It's yours tonight. Hallelujah. The blessing is yours. It's yours. It's yours tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Father, in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, I ask you right now for our, for our brother tonight. Oh, God, for this pastor tonight. We pour it in the oil on tonight, Father. 
We pouring that wine tonight. Oh God, feeling full of this oil and wine tonight. Oh God, if you, Lord, if you bless him, Lord, when you bless him, you bless them all. Oh God, do it for him right now. We pouring oil and the wine on tonight is yours right now. Why well, I've spoken it upon you right now. I pour it out upon you right now, thank all in the wine. Go ahead and thank him for it. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. Cup of dream I had, and I believe it goes along with this meeting. A few nights ago, I had a dream. I told Brother Mike about it, and I told Brother Moses about it. The Lord Jesus was in our midst, and He was getting ready to prepare a meal for us. And we was we was at the table, and He was going to speak this meal in the existence. And I remember I seen some of the brothers coming in, and one person that came in that really got my attention. I remember seeing Brother Al, Brother Al Gonzalez, and he was a younger person than what he was. And then another night I had a dream, I, I told Brother Mike, I said the Lord had revealed to us that he was getting ready to take us out of here. We was all getting prepared, like they did when Moses was getting ready to take the children out of Egypt. Everybody was just, we was excited. We were getting ready to leave. We knew that if we were leaving, we were leaving. And one man said, I'm not going to get dressed. I'm just ready to go now. And, and we were just all excited, ready to go. And Brother Jesse talking about, you know, serving the Lord, Martha, and then the dream, Jesus serving us. I believe it has to do with what you were saying. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, I touch my brother right now. I pray for him. Come on, raise his other hand. Hallelujah. It's a sign of surrender. Feel this vessel, Lord. Feel this vessel. Feel this vessel, Lord. The overflowing. Oh, God, I pour in oil. And I pour in oil wine. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, mighty God. Do it right now, Father. Do it for him right now. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The blessing is yours, brother, for I pronounce it upon you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Anyone else is our prayer? You want to pray tonight? Hallelujah. Glory to God. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for this our brother tonight. Almighty God, send down that powerful anointing upon him right now. God, we pour in the oil and the wine on tonight. Oh God, according to your, to your instructions, we pour it in tonight. And Father, tonight, oh God, give him an understanding. Oh, God, make him to know, Lord, that he's right there in your will. 
God, that he doing the work you called him to do. God, give him that reassurance on tonight. Lord, feel him full of your anointing tonight, oh God. May it be, Lord, he has chosen that good poet that should not be taken away from him. Bless him, my brother, right now, Father. In the name of Jesus, oh God, I pour in the oil and the wine on tonight. It's yours right now. It's yours right now. It's yours right now. I pronounce the upon you. Go ahead and thank him for it. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray for our brother tonight. We pray for him tonight. God, we pour in that oil. We pour in the wine tonight. Oh, mighty God. God did give him the reassurance. God, that he chose that good part. God, that won't be taken away from him. Bless him right now, Father. Bless him right now. Make it crystal clear to him, Father. Crystal clear. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh, God. Do it for him right now. The blessing is yours, brother. It's yours. It's yours right now. Just receive it. See the blessing. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, bless this, our brother Terry, tonight. Oh, God, let that mighty anointing flow, oh, God. Lord, we pouring in the oil and the wine according to your direction, according to your instruction. God, do it for him right now. Do it for him right now, Father, in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, may he do the work you call him to do. Oh, God. Oh, God. Bless him right now. I bless you, brother, right now. Receive the blessing. It's yours. I pour it in the oil and the wine. It's yours tonight. In the name of Jesus. Thank you for doing it, Father. Thank you for blessing our brother. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, bless you, brother. Search me and try. Pray for our brother tonight. Oh God, pour out the oil and the wine tonight, dear God. Oh God, you've seen what people have gone through. And oh mighty God, your great compassion tonight, dear God. You had compassion tonight. And oh mighty God, you pour out tonight, Lord, the oil and the wine. And oh God, pour out upon my brother tonight. Feel my brother up tonight, oh God. Do it for him tonight, dear God. Do it for him tonight, dear God. Oh, touch him right now, dear God. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The blessing is yours, brother. The blessing is yours. The blessing is yours. God has done it for you. God has done it for you tonight. God has done it for you tonight. Hallelujah. He's pouring out tonight. The blessing is yours, brother. Hold to it tonight. It's yours. Glory to God. Thank him for it. Go ahead and begin to thank him for it. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So 
I can read the read on it. Exactly what you're going through with. Jesus. Amen. He felt it. Amen. He felt your knees. He felt your knees. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Father, in the name of Jesus, give him a miracle, God. Give him a miracle to his son tonight. Oh, mighty God. We cry out to you tonight, Father. I pour out the oil and the wine, Lord, that's according to your instruction. We pour it out right now, Father. The oil and the wine. The oil and the wine, we're pouring it out right now, Father. Oh, God, do it for him tonight, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Bless him right now, Lord. Bless his son right now. Oh, God, give him a miracle right now. Touch him right now, Jesus. Touch him right now. Oh, God, pour in the oil. We're pouring the oil and the wine. Oh, God, a miracle, Father, in the name of Jesus. Give him a miracle right now. Hallelujah. It's yours. It's yours. Believe God. He's, he's heard your cry. He's heard your cry. Hallelujah. He's granted your petition. Hallelujah. He's granted your petition. Hallelujah. He's granted your petition. Hallelujah. Hold on to God. It'll be all right. It'll be all right. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Go ahead and thank him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Come on, look at him. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, what upon this little fellow right now? Oh, mighty God. We pour in the oil and the wine upon him tonight. Oh, mighty God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Bless him right now, Father. In the name of Jesus. Thank him for it. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. been dry now's a good time to come dip it in some oil hey man there's plenty of oil to dip it in Yes, 
Praise God. Praise the Lord. Jess is doing the anointing tonight. Just reverse. And I believe if you want a blessing, you better come get anointed tonight. You might miss it. This is a good time to receive that blessing of the Holy Ghost. I'm telling you, folks. Hallelujah. God is on the mother. She come on my. You got me that mother. She come on my 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 mother. Yes. <laughs> 